<laughs> oh, the devil, oh, yeah. <laughs> right, just a little quick video today, or quickish. I don't know how long it's going to take. Actually, it could be a long video. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I had a question in, one, in the comment section in one of my videos a few days back. And um, it was regarding the speaker binding posts, or ter speaker terminals. And the guy wanted to use banana plugs. Uh, and he, say, and he, he said, what can I use instead of banana plugs? Do I have to use spades? Because my amplifier, you can't get banana plugs in it. Well, this is a European thing mainly. I'm not sure, please correct me if I'm wrong if this happens in other countries, or perhaps you've had a, uh, a, an amp made in Europe imported to your country, and it's got the same issue. So you can see on this amp here, now this happens in the EU, um, even though the UK is not in the EU, it's still a European country. Uh, so most amplifiers, I think the majority of them will have the speaker binding post capped, so you can't get a banana plug in. Uh, and he was querying, what can he do instead? Well, you just remove the caps. That's how easy it is, right? It's, n it's not hard to remove these caps. When you, at first glance, you go, oh my God, I can't get them out. What the deuce? And you're like, what? Now, I've seen some cr really stupid ways to remove these caps. Uh, and I'll show you, look, I, sh I might be able to remove one. I removed these ones just for my fingernails. It took a little bit, it was quite fiddly. Uh, but, uh, oh, there you go. That was actually quite, <laughs> that was actually quite easier than I thought. It's not as easy as that sometimes. There's, there it is there. All right, pop that back in. I don't know if I can do that again. Let me just see this one. And as you can see, oh, hang on, I, I have got it. There you go. So you can remove them with just your nails. It's that simple. So I seen one video where the guy suggests to get a screwdriver, a screw, sorry, like this. Boop, okay. And, and I, I've already attempted this. <laughs> Right, so you see a little bit of a hole there. And you screw this screw in there, okay? But this is quite hard plastic, these, right? And as you can see, the screw's not biting. And I can guarantee that that guy either drilled a pilot hole before he showed the video, <laughs> before he filmed the video, so he could screw the screw in and go, look, look at this. Now, it will work. Maybe I haven't got the good enough. I tried a couple of screws to get in there. And the only, only way of doing it is to get a small uh, drill, drill bit, and drill a pilot hole to screw the screw in. And then what, what he did then was pull it out. Okay. I'm not going to do that, because that's a shite way. Then there was another guy. And what he did, he heated up. Heat it up the end of one. Now you've got to be careful. Give me a sec. Hang on. Safety first. So I'm going to use that because obviously if you're going to heat the end of this up, metal is a great con con conductor of heat and then the end of that is going to get hot. Now you can use a safety, a safety pin, a paper clip. I've just got a nail here. And then what he did, then he heated this up. And again, this is a stupid way as well. <laughs> Heat that up. Now, this nail's a bit thick. I will, a pin would be better, or a safety clip and bend it. You heat that up. And you've got to be careful. If you're doing this, you don't slip up and touch the binding post, because these binding posts here are plastic. So I don't want to damage the amp. Now I've got a hole there, so let's see. Okay, so you can see that's melted there. And what you do then, you let that set. So let's give it a minute, okay? I'll be back in 60 seconds. One minute later. Okay, so moment of truth. Wow, that's bloody hot. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> so, okay, that worked. But again, it, it does work. And look, 
See where that's gone through, look? That could have easily damaged that binding post there, because that's plastic. I think that's metal in there, possibly. But this is, this is plastic here, so I don't recommend that way either. Um, it does work, but it's not ideal. And so it, again, if you're having problems and you can't get it up with your nail, just use a, a standing, we call it a standing knife in the UK, or a utility knife. Just use a utility knife. Um, some people suggested, uh, or one person suggested a razor blade. Come on, man. Are you all right? You're having a laugh, aren't you? Now, if you've got a razor blade in your hand, so you'd have to, I would, if you did use a razor blade, uh, which I don't recommend, you'd have to cover up one end because a razor blade will just, you know, slice the top of your finger off. Victory is mine! <laughs> right? So, you, you can use a razor blade, but a Stanley blade will do it, or utility knife blade. And you should be able to very easily Again, it's, I just want to make, it's awkward because I want to make sure you see on the camera. And that's how easy it is. Now. Obviously, always retract the blade. <laughs> Safety first, okay? And that's how easy it is. Just use a Stanley knife. Don't use a screw. A screw is stupid. Using a hot pin or whatever, it works. But again, a bit stupid. So let's take these out. Let's get them out now. There's one. Uh, there's the other one. Okay. So these are out. Now, many, some of you may think, again, retract the blade. Going to cut the top of my finger off. Let's put that out of the way up there. So, why are they, why are they capped? In Europe, why are they capped? It's because people are thick as shit. Okay. <laughs> so here is um, now. Let me just show you if I can find one. Let's see if I can unplug this here. Give me a sec. That's got that's, in, that's bedded in here like a tick. So here is a, a British, a UK, three-pin plug. Now, I'm not being biased because I'm British. I mean, I don't really give a toss what plug I use, as long as it powers my equipment. But it is said that the UK plug is one of the safest in the world. And it's pretty, pretty near impossible to get yourself electrocuted using any, uh, a UK plug. Although, you know, other plugs are safer. But, it's, so this is, this is uh, an EU plug. So most countries in Europe use this type of plug. And this is an adapter here, which cut must come off something or other. See, it's a two-pin plug. And they do put a plastic coat in there to stop you getting electric, stop you touching the terminals when that goes in. But that's that's an EU plug. Okay, right. Now what's this? Do 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 do. <laughs> Let me show you from up and puff. Can you see that? All right, let me get it a bit closer. All right, watch now. All right, so it will, it will fit into the terminals. And also, these will fit into a, an EU socket, okay? Right, now, there's only one reason why the governing bodies, governments or whatever, or health and safety executives or whatever they are, would say you need to cap your amplifiers. So they say to Marantz, if you sell an amplifier in Europe, you need to put a cap over it. And Marantz go, well, why the hell is that? It's because we have some really, really thick people who think it's okay to put an electrical appliance and plug it into <laughs> up some speaker sockets. Someone must have done it at some point. Someone has either either plugged one of these into there, or they've plugged these into an electrical socket. Um, one of the one of the two. Now, some people say they're uh, banned in in the EU. I don't think I don't think they're banned because I, I mean I bought these in the UK. These banana plugs on Amazon UK, and I think you can get them on Amazon EU. 
But I think it's more of a, is it a prohibition possibly? Uh, they just try and cut down the risk of it. And this is why they have to put do not drink on bottles of bleach. Because there's a lot of people out here with thick as big shit, okay? Um, and he's gone and plugged that. So that's the reason why they plug them in. They cap them over because of idiots who <laughs> plug in electrical appliances into these sockets end up burning their house down or getting an electric shock or whatever. So that's why. Anyway, there you go. Just a quick video today um, to explain how to remove the caps, why the caps are there in the first place. And unfortunately, the world is full of stupid people. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.